Carl, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Good. I can just have you fill out these forms and just sign at the bottom. Carl is one of many thousands of people who is participating in an international clinical research study to determine if an investigational drug called Romanovan can reduce key risk factors that contribute to heart disease and stroke. According to researchers, a larger waist size has been found to be more harmful, whereas larger hip size, possibly indicating lower body muscle mass, is considered protective. Apple-shaped people, those who carry too much weight around their midsections and abdomens, are at greater risk of heart problems than those who are pear-shaped. Clinical trials that are well-designed and well-executed offer an excellent opportunity for interested participants. I think there are, there are a number of benefits um, for participants that are interested in trials. One, it allows them to play an active role in their own health care. It also allows uh, participants to gain access to new research treatments before they are actually widely available. It also allows participants to obtain expert medical care at leading health care facilities which are participating in the trial. Remember, for those of you who thought this was a weight loss study, it really is not. Uh, the main priority of this study is to help you reduce your cardiovascular risk factors. Now, it is true that you may lose some weight during the study, but this should not be your real motivation for entering the study. The motivation should be for improvement in your long-term health. Oh, hey, honey. How'd things go with the study today? <sighs> Honestly, Betty, <laughs> I don't know. I've been enrolled in this program for at least six months now, and I fully expected to see some significant weight come off my middle. This drug has been approved for use in other countries for weight loss, and I haven't seen the scale budge more than a pound or two. I'm getting a little discouraged. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try. Carl and other people in this study may get frustrated about a lack of weight loss, but it's very important to remember that previous studies have shown that those patients who didn't lose a lot of weight did see significant positive changes in their lab values and also saw their risks for cardiovascular disease decline. And maybe these patients are on placebo. Remember, a placebo is an inactive pill, liquid or powder, that has no treatment value. In clinical trials, experimental treatments are often compared with placebos to assess the experimental treatment's effectiveness. It may seem like those people selected for the placebo group are not as critical to this study as those taking the real drug. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. Earlier studies have shown Romanobant is an effective drug to reduce the risk factors for heart disease and stroke. And those taking placebos played a key role in determining that outcome. Without them, and without you, researchers would have a much harder time proving Romanobant is both safe and effective. It's important that you do your homework before meeting with your doctor. Bring any relevant medical records with you to each appointment. Knowing your medical history will help the study team create a personalized plan for you. For example, you may be asked about any past or present diagnoses such as diabetes, cancer, or arthritis, past or present operations you've had, x-rays or MRIs you've taken, prescription drugs you're taking now, including strength in milligrams, and how often you're taking them, what over-the-counter medications you're taking, any known allergies to food or drugs, any dietary supplements, including herbs and vitamins, and anything that could affect your ability to follow the study doctor's instructions. Hey, Carl. Hi. How are you? Oh, okay. I'd like to lose a bit more weight, but um, otherwise pretty good. Okay. Well, we'll talk about You probably have many questions about taking part in this study, and it's easy to forget them when you're anxious. So bring a checklist of questions for the study team. You can also bring a friend or family member to help you remember other questions. If English isn't your first language, ask the office to provide an interpreter. Study coordinators will answer important questions such as what you can learn from your tests, when you'll know the results, do you have to prepare for the tests, and do the tests have any side effects or risks? And if the answers you get don't make any sense, don't leave until they do. Hi, Barbara. This is Dr. Lambert. How are you? Hey, I noticed that you missed your last office visit. Is everything okay? Well, good. Well, we need to reschedule you whenever it's convenient, but it's as quickly as we can, because it's important that all of our volunteers maintain the regularity of office visits that we need to make the study valid. 
So uh, what's later this week look like? Barbara says she'll come back for another visit, but she's already decided to drop out. Barbara's departure, as will anyone's, impacts the final outcome of this important test. But she and others can still play a critical role in this trial's outcome. It may seem unimportant or even irrelevant, but even if volunteers drop out of active participation in the study, it's still vitally important that they keep in contact with the study site. Mia, this is Jennifer from Dr. Hollander's office. How are you? Good. I was calling to remind you of a next appointment Friday morning. Okay, so I'll see you then. Um, tell me, have you started any new medicines? Okay, so everything seems to be going okay? All right, perfect. Well, I'll see you Friday morning at 7 a.m. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Let's go ahead and get your weight. Okay, let's see here. Looks like you're down five pounds. That's great. Okay. Well, I don't <laughs> hey. know if you're on the right, the real medicine or not, but whatever it is, it's good. Well, it's working. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Carl's decided to hang in there and continue. Not only does he want to know more about how this drug may help him improve his chances of living or avoiding being seriously hurt by heart disease or stroke, but he has a sense he's part of something much bigger than his own health. By taking part in this important trial, you, Carl, and thousands of others may help provide people around the world with an important weapon in the fight against diseases that devastate families and countries around the world. Thanks so much for taking part.